Howdy TVDL fans and happy What Wednesday! Basil in its many varieties is grown and consumed more than any other herb. Commercial and home garden production has increased significantly in the past years. So we decided to cover a pathogen that's gone along with it. Today we answer the question, what is basil downy mildew? Basil downy mildew is caused by the Oomycete pernospora belbari and can lead to complete crop loss. In Texas, basil downy mildew was first reported in 2010. Along with the increase in production is the increase in the spread of the disease. Symptoms of basil downy mildew can mimic nutrient deficiency. Affected plants may show yellowing on lower leaves. Chlorosis caused by the disease is vein-bound, unlike when yellowing is caused by nutrient deficiency. Spore formation on the underside of the affected basil leaves is fuzzy and gray. The disease likes mild temperatures and humid conditions and can be spread by wind, infested seeds, and infested plants. Since basil downy mildew can be spread through the air, regular scouting should be a priority, especially in areas where the pathogen has been identified. Removing infected plants early in the disease cycle is the best way to avoid losing an entire crop. A good way to prevent basil downy mildew in greenhouses is to reduce humidity and leaf wetness by ensuring adequate plant spacing and ventilation. Most popular sweet basil cultivars are very susceptible to downy mildew. For more information on susceptible cultivars and effective chemicals to suppress the pathogen, check out our packaging in the link above. So earlier this year, we had some downy mildew um, take over our current crop of basil, and it totally killed it. Um, so we decided to experiment with some different varieties. So here we have Thai basil, which actually did get infected with the downy mildew, um, but it's been tolerating it. So it's still alive and growing, even though it is infected. But what's really cool is this variety of sweet basil right here. Um, it's called Obsession, and it was um, bred by um, some workers at Cornell University. And so um, it has been growing, you know, totally butted up next to this Thai basil that's infected, and it's had com literally zero symptoms of downy basils, downy mildew, so uh, I thought that was pretty cool.